Hi, I'm Denise Juno, Superintendent for Seattle Public Schools. As you all know, for the past several months, the district has been hard at work planning for the reopening of school buildings this fall. We continue to work closely with King County Public Health, the Office of Superintendent of Public Instruction, and the Governor's Office. The data, the science, and the research all currently indicate that transmission rates of COVID-19 in King County are significantly increasing. While we had hoped to start the school year with some in-person instruction for all students, it's become clear that this won't be possible. Across the globe, countries that have managed to successfully reopen school buildings have done so with declining COVID-19 infection rates. There is not a way to open schools here without the risk of significant transmission of COVID-19 based on the current trajectory of infections in King County. In response to this data and health guidance, I'll be recommending to the school board that we begin school remotely and that we continue in this model until the risk of COVID-19 transmission has decreased enough to resume in-person instruction. That is our goal. We know that in-person, in-building instruction is the best learning environment for our students and teachers. I don't take this decision lightly. It was made after consulting and in partnership with neighboring districts and working with our educators and school leaders. I understand the hardship that remote learning may cause for many families. I know this is going to be hard. I also know that we can work together to make the best of these circumstances and to help all students succeed. Our educators are ready and willing to make sure SPS remote learning is successful for everyone, including our families. While each of us has experienced this pandemic differently, we are in this together. And as the environment and information continues to shift and change, we will adapt and we will communicate as soon as possible. Our individual efforts determine our collective future. So please continue to social distance, continue to follow public health guidelines, wear a mask, if not for yourself, for your neighbor, your coworker, your friend, or a loved one. The sooner we can decrease the spread of COVID-19, the sooner we can be back together in person. It will take all of us doing our part. I'm committed to keeping you informed and we'll be hosting Facebook Live Town Halls in August to go over the recommended reopening plan and details. The school board will vote on the recommended plan on August 12th. For regular updates, please visit www.seattleschools.org. Thank you.